Hi everyone, this is Brenda and Tim from Mainly Hybrid Homesteading. Hello. Today we're going to be showing you what we've been stocking up on in our pantry and in other areas uh, to make sure that we are stocked up. We've been noticing more shortages in the stores as I'm sure you have and prices are going up every day. So we, I finally found some two quart jars at Walmart. Uh, I actually bought a couple of cases of these and I've already put to use um, the other case. Uh, so I was happy to find these. I also got um, three cases of water at Shaw's. They were on sale this week for uh, $3,499, $9.99, which great price. Although this makes me wonder how long the water's been in the store. It's got the 4th of July logo on it, but on the bottles it says it's good till uh, July 23, but it doesn't go bad. You just keep it cool. And I got this coconut oil. I use it in my cooking and also uh, making my skincare products. This is not the brand I normally buy. The brand I normally buy had less ounces and had gone up a couple dollars a jar uh, since the last time I had purchased it um, and these had more ounces in the jars for the same price so got a couple of those uh, got some corned beef to add to our meat preps this is good until uh, 7 2026 I had heard that um, the canned hams you know the ones that come in uh, like an oval uh, shaped like a ham shaped like a ham can <laughs> that nobody was finding them in the stores anymore and I did not see any at Walmart so I'm glad I had stocked up on a few of those uh, a few months back and still collecting seeds I found these at the Dollar General I thought this was an awesome find uh, microgreens which I can grow in the winter time here in the house and we can still get some nutrition and um, some nutrients from these. And I'm also going to be trying to grow some lettuce and, and other greens in the house next winter. So we can have our own fresh. And so yeah, more vegetable seeds, trying to focus on organic seeds and especially heirloom seeds. So uh, I can save the seeds when um, they're at the end. Of the summer and we have seeds to keep on going are these the edible sunflowers no i had to, i got those for me <laughs> gotta have my sunflowers those were 50 cents and just got this book from amazon um still reading through it seems very informative so far it covers every uh, vegetable or flower that you would ever grow and how to save the seeds from it so good resource to have you never know if the internet is going to be um, available in the future so good to have your own little library going so we'll leave a link to that below yes we will leave a link link to that down below and also stocking up on some baking supplies um, some yeast I want to get into um, baking bread there's a apparently an easy recipe that I want to try um, because we don't know if uh, things will be available in the stores or how expensive they will be a couple bags of flour at Walmart um, these used to be a dollar 42 and actually the price on the shelf said it was a dollar 42 but when I looked at my slip and I got home they were dollar 56 for um, five pounds so keep an eye as when you're at the register um, I was doing a self checkout thing and didn't notice that at the time also some uh, baking powder this is good until uh, January 24 uh, to use in my baking and this rice was free uh, not something that we normally use but sometimes Hannaford's will have digital coupons for free products because they want people to try them. So I figured for free, we're going to put it in our pantry. 
couple bottles of my fav favorite uh, margarita mix. It, um, I like it because it has less sugar and I don't use much of it in uh, my margaritas. I use mostly lime seltzer uh, with the tequila, but this adds um, some nice flavor. And more paper plates. Gatorade, um, still finding, having trouble finding Gatorade in the bottles. So I saw the powder and decided to uh, get some for our stock. These are supposedly only good till October of 22, but as long as you keep them dry and cool, they'll be fine. And once we open this container, the rest of it's gonna go in glass jars and vacuum sealed so it doesn't absorb any moisture. Uh, got a bag of pancake mix which I'm going to be putting up probably in one of these uh, two quart jars here and um, when I was purchasing this I was mainly looking for the expiration date uh, the furthest expiration date I could find and I believe this is good until um, yeah January of 24 so it's good for a couple of years and if you vacuum seal it it'll last even longer Got some more of my Castile soap. I use this uh, for bathing and um, other uses in making uh, health and beauty products. And I use it in my laundry as a as part of the mixture that I use to pre-treat my laundry. And um, Hannaford had a sale on this. It was eleven ninety nine. Normally thirteen ninety nine this week. So I grabbed a couple more just to have. Uh, we didn't have any jello in our stock and Tim had asked um, that we should probably have some. I hadn't thought about it, but so we got some of those in different flavors. Got some more lids. I wasn't, haven't been able to find the wide mouth uh, lids the last couple times I've been to Walmart. So still keeping an eye out for those. Got a couple uh, balls of cotton yarn. Uh, one of the things that I want to learn how to do is to crochet. And because I really love the handmade dishcloths and ours, we do have some, but they're starting to wear out. So want to have some in stock. I'll probably go back and get some more. But uh, one of those skills that I want to learn how to do. Couple cans of corn. Got some fluff, um, only had a partial container and I do use this mostly in my Christmas baking and this has gone up in price as well. Uh, used to be like a dollar ninety seven about a year ago but now it's definitely over two dollars, almost two dollars and fifty cents for a container. Got more napkins, q-tips, Stocking up on health and beauty products that we use. We don't want to run out of those. Couple boxes of uh, gluten-free pasta with the uh, green pea flour. I went back to get some more and they were all out. Uh, so I was kind of bummed out for that, but I'll be keeping an eye out uh, to see when they come back in stock. I was almost out of nail polish remover. Got some of that. Couple toothbrushes. Batteries, you always want to have uh, batteries on hand. Tuna, uh, repl replenishing basically what we had used. These are good till uh, June of 24. I did finally find some minced garlic. They had it back in stock. It's good uh, for a couple more years. So I was happy to find that. And what I'm doing now, not only do I put the expiration date on the package, but I'm also uh, writing when I open it. So I know how long it takes for us to go through whatever it is. Um, so I can, to help me figure out how much we need for a year or however long we want to stock up on things. Got some dried cranberries. These uh, will go in jars to keep them longer. And um, some kind of more natural dishwasher uh, pods. Got some more uh, 
real bacon bits. I normally buy the Hannaford brand. They're a better deal. Haven't been able to find those uh, for a couple weeks now. They only have the smaller packages. And supposedly there's a pound and a half of bacon cooked down in that small package. But if you're looking to add variety to your preps, um, to your meats, then um, this might be a way to do it. it then, you know, the expiration date is good until October, oh, December. Um, but kept in a cool place, I'm sure it would last longer. We were low on coffee, and coffee is just keeps going up on price. Uh, normally, when Shaw's has sale on their New England coffee, it's three ninety nine a package. Now their sale price is four ninety nine. Uh, so I wanted to uh, stock up on some coffee. Anything else that you guys use? Um, you know, coffee is not a necessity, but it can. Add pleasure to your preps, uh, keep your sanity. If you have other things, cigarettes or alcohol, that kind of thing, then you may want to make sure you have um, a stock of those things. Uh, got some more molasses and also my coconut aminos. Uh, both of these I use in my um, soy-free teriyaki sauce that I make for all my stir fries. And... Um, my noodles. Got some more lamp oil. Uh, this is another thing that's gone up a couple dollars in the past five months, uh, but want to make sure I have a supply for my lanterns. And I was trying to read on the package. I'm pretty sure we could probably store this outside. It wouldn't hurt it if it froze, or I don't think it would freeze. Yeah. So what, that's something that's taking up space in here that we can move outside. And then I made another trip to the Dollar Tree. I saw these refried beans and um, figured I would try them. They are a source of protein and we do enjoy them as a side dish, you know, especially when we're making Mexican. This is a heat in the pouch kind of thing. I don't think I would definitely not heat it up in this plastic pouch, but... Um, it got me thinking that I probably should add that to my prep, some cans of refried beans just to have because they do last uh, for a while and they are a source of protein. Got some more uh, scrubby pads. Want to make sure I don't run out of those. Uh, some more of the Himalayan pink salt. Still definitely a good deal at $1.25. Got some more uh, lentils. This is uh, one pound. And of course, got some more seeds uh, for 25 cents. And they do actually have some heirloom varieties, which uh, particularly um, was looking for. Some squash. And of course, some more baskets to store everything. So I hope that you guys are stocking up as well, getting ready, um, just to be ready for any kind of emergency. Thanks for joining us today. Please subscribe, share, and like this video. Have a great day.